not all wheelchair users can walk. So I'm at a theme park and I'm a full-time wheelchair user who cannot walk or stand. I won't name the park as as soon as management found out, they were angry and more than rectified the situation, but the story is funny emo. It happened a few years ago. So one of the rides is in a building and has an area outside the entrance for pushchairs and those strollers people bring to theme parks that pull all their stuff and older kids etc about to be left there as they aren't allowed in a building. My friend and I head to the entrance and this young employee comes to me and says you just leave your wheelchair there I look at him and my friend is about to say something and I catch their eye and wink. I will over to the area and sit there with my brakes on. My friend cottons on and comes and stands next to me. The worker comes over and says you can go in now seeing me not moving. I reply how you told me to put my wheelchair here? He, not seeing what is happening, replies yes, so you need to leave it here and then go in and get it after. I ask him how that'll work and he sort of blinks at me confused then walks over to a guest who has asked for help. Another worker, older who has like team leader slash supervisor type phasing on his badge comes over. The guy who has told me to sit there is still talking to another guest and the older worker comes over and asks if I'm okay. I explained that the guy had told me to sit here in my chair and so I did and then he told me to head into the ride but leaving my chair here and how I'm confused as I can't walk or stand. This worker is mortified and tells me this is obviously not the park rules and how no one is asked to leave their wheelchair there if they don't want to and how I'm allowed in with my chair. The first worker comes over and the supervisor slash team leader asks him what he is on about and how he can't tell wheelchair users to do this etc. The younger guy said he was told to tell people if they could leave their wheelchairs there and we work out he has gotten him wires crossed and that some people will ask if they can leave their wheelchairs there who are ambulatory and use them for when they get tired and that's fine but not to tell everyone in a wheelchair to leave their chairs there. The guy realizes his mistake and then realizes what I'd said about how am I meant to go in means I can't stand slash walk and what he has implied etc and is mortified. Apologizing over and over. I explain how it's okay and I'm glad he has realized what he said wasn't okay but I can see how he gotten confused and turns out he's very new. I head on to the ride and as I exit the supervisor comes over and refunds us our park entry tickets and has food and shop vouchers for myself and my friend. I explain how they didn't need to do this and how I'm just glad the new guy found out his misunderstanding with me who found it funny and had a bit of fun over someone else. Could have been me on a different day. Who took offense and got angry etc. Which I guess is why I got the free stuff. I explain how they didn't need to do this and how I'm just glad the new guy found out his misunderstanding with me who found it funny and had a bit of fun over someone else could have been me on a different day who took offense and got angry etc which i guess is why i got the free stuff this is exactly why they went above and beyond for you those that get angry and throw a fit might get a few vouchers and an apology those who understand people make mistakes they go above and beyond making a clear point without undue escalation. Very graceful approach on your part. Years and years ago I was on a hospital elevator when the doors opened and a young man in a wheelchair rolled in. His shoes were perfectly polished and the soles had obviously never touched the floor. A medical student on the elevator, in an innocent attempt to make light conversation, said, looks like someone just got a new pair of shoes. The whole elevator paused in awkward silence. Love it. I went out to dinner with my wife once and we were told that they couldn't seat us at the only available table because her chair would be blocking the fire exit. I looked at them and explained that she would be just as motivated to leave in the case of a fire as everyone else and wouldn't be doing so without her chair. I use a wheelchair on a bad day getting more and more unfortunately our crutches on a good but i can stand my friend and i always do our supermarket shopping together she'll be pushing me in my basic chair as that's just easier for everyone it fits in her car 
It's easier for me to transfer. It's just easier. The amount of times I've stood to reach something. Or she's been helping me to transfer. And some idiot has pointed and shouted how I'm a lazy faker really makes me wish they never have. Spinal cord trauma. So they will never know how hard my life can be. And know how hurtful misunderstands about disabilities can be. I have had the exact opposite happen. While I can walk short distances. I can't stand or walk for long periods of time so when we go on vacation. Cons. Amusement parks etc. I use my wheelchair. I've had multiple people. Guests and employees. Get flat out pissed off when I stand up. I've been accused of cheating and abusing the system. You handled that with grace and humor. Thank you for restoring my faith in humanity. For at least a few minutes anyway. Excellent way of dealing with this issue. I commend you. I was at Disneyland and shattered my heel a few years previous. It had healed but I couldn't stand very long. I took a walker so I could sit in line. Nope. Head on around back to the handicapped line. My kids loved it. Man. How flustered, mentally exhausted do you have to be to just straight up forget that a good portion of wheelchair users can't walk at all, can only walk very short distances with assistance? Poor guy. Definitely a good thing you were the one to correct him instead of someone less patient. Everybody in this comes out okay in this. Well maybe not the worker who probably got roasted until someone else did something dumb. As an amputee it's always interesting to see how folks react. And what unintentional and oblivious roadblocks are there in the daily lives of other people. That guy got mixed up and was too confused by customers and folks to see. Good way to handle it and fun enough story. I could also see myself not clicking what's going on. I found it strange anyone could assume everyone in a wheelchair can walk. But not getting the situation. Yeah being around customers does that. OMG. Can you imagine if Op had maliciously complied by having his friend help lift him out of his wheelchair and then dragging him to the line? That probably would end it up on the national news. Is it just me or wouldn't most people assume that a wheelchair user couldn't walk unless you found out otherwise? I can't comprehend this law. Not in a wheelchair. But I have had similar moments when I am glad new staff had a learning experience with me rather than someone who was having a rough day. Glad they rectified everything for you. Hands clapping hands clapping hands clapping face with hand over mouth nice one. Way to make an awkward moment funny. The poor employee probably wanted the ground to swallow him up whole that day. Wow. Some people really don't like thinking for themselves. I bet his cringe factor was crippling once he realized it. I am very surprised. I expect it to go the other way. People a summing you can't walk because you're in a wheelchair and calling you a faker if it turns out. You can hobble a couple of steps. I'm glad you could have fun with it and him. So many people take things so seriously now. Red Heart Grin. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.